Welcome to your free theory lesson from Sherwood School on the subject of phrasal verbs with the particle off. My name is Mike and I'm going to introduce you to this subject. Although it may appear a little boring, we see it as the most effective way to tackle this challenging part of English grammar. Phrasal verbs consist of a verb plus a particle. Therefore, they can be of the form a verb plus an adverb or a verb plus a preposition or a verb plus a preposition plus an adverb. The meaning of this combination is usually very different from the verb and the adverb or preposition if used alone. There are no rules that explain how phrasal verbs are formed correctly. You just need to look them up in a dictionary and study their meanings. In fact, many phrasal verbs are metaphorical, and if you can understand the metaphors they use, it will be easier to understand and remember their meanings. Phrasal verbs are mainly used in spoken English and informal texts. Many phrasal verbs are transitive, meaning that they take an object. Other phrasal verbs can stand alone, i.e. are intransitive. Some phrasal verbs are separable, which is when the verb and the preposition can be separated, putting the object in the middle. Other phrasal verbs are inseparable, which is when the object must come at the end because the verb and preposition must stay together. An example of a separable verb would be put on your coat, which is the correct way to say it, but it would equally be correct to say put your coat on. But as an example of an inseparable verb, whereas it is correct to say get on a bus, it would be incorrect to say get a bus on. So, how to remember English phrasal verbs? The first thing to do with phrasal verbs is to learn them as phrases and not as separate words. Try to re remember them as if they were a single verb. The second thing that will help you is to remember them in groups. For example, make a list of phrasal verbs with the word get in them and try to remember all of these. Get on, get off, get away, get by, get up, get down, etc. You may find it easier if you put them in groups of verbs with the same particle. For example, as we have, are doing here, phrasal verbs including the particle off. It may then be useful to group them on the basis of their meaning and using as we we will demonstrate. The third thing that you will, will help you learn phrasal verbs is to make up or write sentences that will help you to remember how they are used. The fourth important thing about phrasal verbs is to remember if there are any prepositions which also follow them. For example, I get on well with my sister. So, the preposition off. It's the opposite of using the preposition on. It's used for two main purposes. Firstly, if an object is moving in the direction away from the speaker or another object. And then secondly, if an object is in a state of non-operation or in a state of non-existence. However, within the lesson, we will outline most uses of the phrasal verb with off and their meanings. Usage 1 then, leaving a place, the ground, a surface or going away from something. Back off is to retreat. Everyone back off and let the doctor through. Be off is to depart or leave. I should be off now if I'm going to catch that next, the next bus. Buzz off. Leave somewhere. I've got to buzz off. Clear off. Leave somewhere quickly. 
I wished the door-to-door -door salesman would clear off so that I could get back on to watching the football on television. Dash off. Leave somewhere quickly. Do something quickly. When the bell rang, he dashed off to class. Drive off. Drive away from a place. She got in her car and drove off. Drop off is to take something or someone to a place and leave it or them there. It's also used to, if you fall asleep or to decrease number or amount. I dropped off the kids at the party, for example. Dry off is to dry something quickly or dry the surface. I dried myself off with a towel and got dressed. Fall off. It's to drop or descend from the top of something. I fell off the ladder and bruised my knee. Get off. It's to finish. Leave work or leave a bus, train and play or plane, etc. In fact, anything apart from cars. What time did they get off work? Further uses of the off preposition in the term of use of me leaving. To give off. Emit pollution or something else unpleasant. This chemical reaction gives off a lot of energy. Go off. Leave a place. They went off without saying goodbye. Head off. Leave somewhere to go to another place. She's heading off to New York City next week. Make off. Leave somewhere in a hurry. He certainly made off in a hurry. Peel off. is to leave a group by moving in the, uh, the different direction. One motorbike peeled off from the formation and circled round behind the rest. Pop off. Go out for a short time. Bye. I must pop off. Ride off. Go away on a bike, horse, etc. She got on her motorbike and rode off. Run off is to flee, to run away with someone. Their dad ran off when they were little. Rush off. Depart in a hurry. They rushed off to catch the next bus. Set off is to start a journey or cause trigger events. What time are you setting off tomorrow morning? Shoot off. Leave promptly and quickly. I'll have to shoot off as soon as this lecture finishes. Take off. When a plane departs or leaves the ground. The plane should take off on time. Tear off. Leave at high speed. He got in his car and tore off down the road. A second usage is to cancel or delay something. Blow off. Not to keep an appointment or to ignore. She blew off the boy's advances and did not go on the date. Call off is to cancel or order someone to stop attacking. The game was called off because of bad weather. Cry off is to cancel an arrangement. She usually sh sh says that she'll be there and then cries off at the last minute. Let's hold off making a decision until next week. Rain off. Be postponed or stopped by rain. It's usually passive, for example. His hockey match was rained off. Put off. Postpone or stop liking something or somebody. I'll put off doing the washing until tomorrow. Stave off. Delay. Prevent something from happening. We were hoping to stave off these difficult decisions until September. Our third usage is to remove, reduce or decrease. We'll start off with burn off. Which is removed by burning or a similar process. They managed to burn off the excess wax. 
chew off, remove by biting. The puppy chewed off my shoelaces. Clean off, remove dirt or something dirty. After dinner, I cleaned off the table. Ease off, reduce pressure. If she doesn't ease off at work, she'll make herself ill. Fall off, to decrease. Sales always fall off in the winter months. Flog off, to sell something cheaply to get rid of it. The council may be planning to flog off most of the, the land to the developers. Knock off, reduce the price of something, or produce to create something quickly. They'll knock off something off the price if you collect it yourself. Shave off. Shave completely. Reduce by a small amount. The new high-speed trains will shave one hour off the journey time. Slip off. Remove clothes or shoes. Slip off your shirt so that I can sew the button back on. Slack off. Reduce one's effort. Perform with less enthusiasm and energy. Tom slacked off at work and started surfing the internet. Take off. Reduce the price of an item. Or remove clothes or shoes. I'd better take off my shoes before stepping on the new carpet. Tear off. Remove part of a form or, or letter using your hands, but not scissors. Just tear off the return slip at the bottom of the form and sign it. Throw off. Remove item of clothing quickly, or get rid of. John threw off his coat and dived into the water. Our fourth usage is when something is not operating or just not being used. This usually refers to a machine or a piece of electrical equipment. Come off when something breaks off. I picked up the bag and the handle came off in my hand. Go off. Stop working, which is particularly for electric or electronic equipment. The heating goes off at 10 o'clock. Power off. Cut the electricity off to a computer or device to turn it off. You shouldn't power it off while it's updating. Turn off is to stop a machine. How do you turn the computer off? Set off. Explode a bomb or ring an alarm. Kate pushed open the front door which set off the alarm. Shut off. Stop them something from operating, or fluid flowing in a pipe. The engine shuts off automatically when the desired speed is reached. Or shut off the tap when you have finished watering the garden. Our fifth usage is to indicate not being somewhere like school or work. To bunk off is to not be at school or work when you should be. A lot of people bunk off early on a Friday. Or goof off to avoid or leave work. They've goofed off and gone to the pub. Skive off. Avoid doing work or other duty. He was always skiving off and going to the cinema. Our sixth use is meaning no longer. Firstly, for food that is off, uh, is no longer fresh and not good to eat. So, to be off, it would be bad. This yoghurt must be off. Or go off is to go bad. The milk has gone off. Secondly, it's used when you're no longer eating, using or, or doing something. Such as, go off, no longer doing. My son has gone off playing rugby. Or die off is to become extinct. The generation that fought in the war are all dying off. Cast off, dispose or get rid of. It took many years for him to cast off his bad reputation. So our seventh use is when no longer connected or someone to someone or something. Break off. Break a piece from something or end a relationship. 
I've decided to break it off with her. Check off. Mark something on a list that it has done. Please check each name off on the list. Cross off. Delete or remove from a list. Did you cross her name off the guest list? Cut off. Disconnect, isolate or make inaccessible. If we don't pay the bill, the electricity will be cut off. Mark off. Tick or cross out. He marked off the names of all suitable candidates. Measure off. Measure something and mark the point where it ends or it will be cut. He took the fabric and measured off a couple of metres. Tick off. Put a mark on an item in a list when it has been dealt with. I ticked off the children's names as they arrived. Usage number eight. To indicate being in a good or a bad situation. Bring off is to succeed in something that was difficult. If they can bring off the deal, they will be able to retire. Carry off is to win or succeed. I thought he carried off the part in the play with great skill. Come off be successful. The party didn't quite come off as we had hoped. Fend off is to resist something successfully or push an attacker away. So far he has managed to fend off attacks on his reputation. Pull off. Manage to do something difficult or tricky or start moving with respect to vehicles. The team pulled off a surprise victory in the semi-final. Use number nine. Sending something or someone. Bundle off. Send someone somewhere. He was bundled off to boarding school when he was ten years old. Fire off. Send quickly, angrily, or many letters and emails, etc. Or it could even be to shoot or fire a gun, usually repeatedly. One example. I sat down and fired off a letter to my MP. Pack off. Send someone away. I packed her off to my sisters. Send off. Post a letter. Have you sent off your application form yet? Our tenth use. Finishing or stopping something. Cap off. To finish or complete often with some decisive action. He capped off the meeting with a radical proposal. Choke off is to stop or restrict. If prices are too high, demand is choked off. Finish off is to finish completely. I will finish off the essay tonight. Knock off. Finish work for the day. If you want to knock off early tonight, Lay off to terminate someone's employment, make an employee redundant. They've had to cut back on production and lay off workers. Polish off, finish or consume. He polished off the whole pie. Ring off, finish a phone conversation. He rang off before she had chance to reply. Round off. Finish something in a satisfactory manner. He rounded off the meal with a cheesecake. Sign off. End the message or stop doing something to leave. He signed off. Yours sincerely, John Smith. Shake off. Get rid of an illness. He shook off our fears. Stop off. Break a journey. We stopped off in town on the way to Kate's house. Top off. Finish something in a special way or fill something completely that is not empty. We topped off the evening with a carriage ride. Write off. Cancel from an account as a loss or to drop someone or something from consideration. The £500 they spent will have to be written off. Usage number 11. Separating things or people. 
cream off. It's to separate the best or the most talented people so that they can receive special or different treatment. They had a plan to cream off the brightest children. Hive off. Separate part of a company or a service, often by selling it. The plan is to hive off individual companies as soon as they are profitable. Rip off is to steal from or exploit, cheat or defraud. Cars get ripped off all the time around here. See off is to go to the airport, station, etc. to say goodbye to someone. Kate saw Mary off at the airport. Wave off is to go to a place where someone is leaving to wave goodbye. She stood at the gate and waved her children off to school. Our next usage is to confr confront. Face off is an out and out confront. Soldiers and protesters faced off during the riots. Fight off. Fight an attacker or force them back. Resist an illness or emotion. The old lady managed to fight off her attackers. Fob off. Make or persuade someone to accept something. Lie or deceive someone. Customers complain when they've been fobbed off. Frighten off. Scare someone so much that they go away or stop doing something that they had planned. Be quiet or you'll frighten off the butterfly. Front off. Confront someone and let them know that you are prepared to fight. Two guys fronted each other off. Go off. Start to dislike. I went off the idea of buying a sports car after I found out how much it would cost. Hack off. It's to annoy. He leaves all the difficult stuff for me to do and it really hacks me off. Head off. Stop someone or force them to change direction. Let's try and head off before they cross the bridge. Piss off. It's to annoy, irritate or disappoint. He really pisses me off when you talk like that. Scare off. Make someone sufficiently frightened that he or she goes away. The country's high murder rate has scared off the tourists. Shrug off. Disregard something. Not consider it important or, har or harmful. They've clearly, sh clearly shrugged off the disappointment of last week's defeat. Slag off is to criticise heavily. You shouldn't slag him off without knowing the facts. Sound off. To express your opinions forcefully. He's always sounding off about how he thinks the country should be run. Square off. It's to confront someone or prepare to fight them. The two retail giants are squaring off this month with advertising campaigns. Tell off. It's to rebuke severely. Mia got told off for talking in class. Tick off to annoy or scold. He ticked me off for parking in front of his house. Our next usage is starting something. To bounce off is to test ideas. I have been thinking about it so let me bounce a few ideas off you. Hit it off. Have a good relationship from the first time that you meet a person. I didn't really hit it off with my sister. Kick off. Begin something, especially a football match. The game kicks off at 9.30. Start off. Make something start. Begin life, a career or existence. Begin a journey. We don't want to start off a riot. Trigger off. Start or set off. The report has triggered a fierce response from the CEO. Next use is separating a particular area. Block off. Obstruct an entrance or exit to prevent people from using it. 
such such as the road was blocked off while they mended the gas leak. Fence off, and close an area to keep animals or people either in or out. They fenced off the bottom end of the garden. Rope off. Extend ropes or barriers across or around an area. The police roped off the crime scene. Screen off. Separate a part of a room with something like a curtain, screen, etc. We could screen off this part of the room. Shut off, close off, is to close or prevent access. They have shut off access to the rear car park. Our fifteenth use is swear words, and there are a lot of swear words or phrases that use the word off, with usually rude or offensive meanings of, to the effect of go away or get lost. We've listed a number of them, and as an example, why don't you just push off? You've caused enough problems already. Finally, miscellaneous others. Doze off is to fall into a light sleep. I dozed off in front of the television. Laugh off. Pretend something, an injury, news, etc. isn't important. He laughed off the incident. Let off is to not punish. The police arrested the leader and let off the rest of the gang with only a warning. Live off is to use money earned or be financially supported. All his, all his life he had lived off his father. Marry off is find a husband or wife for someone, especially your children. She was married off to the local doctor at the age of 16. Nod off is to fall asleep. I nodded off after lunch. Show off. Behave in a way so as to attract attention. Display something you are proud of. Stop showing off. So, we hope you found this lesson useful. You can find a full script of this lesson on our website using the links that are shown on the screen. You can subscribe on our YouTube channel and study with us at Sherwood School and you requ can request a course by completing the online form. Thank you for now.